Hi, Facebook. I thought I would just go ahead and go live and do my testimony so that everyone can uh, get an idea of what I experienced, how I came to Christ, how I do the things I do today um, for the kingdom of God and how I uh, use his word um, to encourage people and bring people closer to him. I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, I know some people will join and some won't. Um, and that's okay. If you can watch later at a later time, please do so. Please share. But listen, you know, a lot of us are go, we go through things in our lives, right? And I went uh, roughly seven years ago, eight years, actually 10 years ago, I went through a very, very traumatic situation. Um, many of you know that I used to have my own business. It was a very successful and thriving business uh, in the financial industry. I did very well for many, many years. Uh, and I had everything a man could want. You know, I had the, the, the family, I had the beautiful wife, uh, I had the cars, the houses, I had the lifestyle. You know, I had all of those things that the world gives you. At the time, I, you know, I had my health, or at least I thought I had my health. And, you know, what happened over time was uh, during 2007, the financial industry crashed. Um, as you know, we, we were in a bubble and I owned a mortgage company. And, and during that time, uh, things really, really got bad for, for me and for my family. Um, essentially what happened was I lost everything uh, over time. It took a few years, but little by little, you know, the industry never really bounced back right away. It took many, many years and I was just never able to recoup or recover. But I want you to listen closely because I want you to know what happened to me and how I overcame, how God uses me even to this day to reach out to people and let them know that, you know what, despite your circumstances, despite your situation, listen, it is not your final destination where you are right now. And as long as you continue to move forward in your life, as long as you continue to press forward in your life and you take steps in faith and you, of course, keep Christ as the center of your life and in your, you know, a relationship with him and you're praying to him and you're worshiping him, eventually what's going to happen is opportunities are going to open up for you. But here's essentially what happened to me. So I lost this multi-million dollar business. I had homes. Um, <clears throat> two in Florida, I had one in Turks and Caicos, one in Puerto Rico, uh, I had a, and then I had a big home in New Jersey, $100,000 cars, I mean, I had the lifestyle, you know, uh, but the fact it was, <clears throat> at the time, I wasn't really living for God, yes, I believed in God, I even prayed to Him and would read once in a while, but I really wasn't making Him the center of my life, and a lot of times what happens is when we don't... <clears throat> make God the center of our life, eventually he'll send warnings to you. He'll send messages to you through people, through places, through things, through situations. And that's what was happening in my life. And I wasn't paying attention to them. I was, I was not reading the signs. I was not looking at the red flags. I was not looking at, you know, all the messages that he was trying to warn me because God will never come in <clears throat> sweep into your life and simply pull the rug from beneath you without first giving you warnings and, and sending you messages, letting you know, hey, I'm here, I'm, I'm knocking on your door, you need to answer me. So ultimately what happened was my business failed and then my marriage began to fail. Um, now all of this is happening at the same time. I was under severe stress. Um, I had a heart attack. I mean, all of these things happened simultaneously, like together at one time or simultaneously. And you know, what I like to tell people is that most, if I didn't have God in my life <clears throat> or believed in him, I believe that most people would have killed themselves. I believe that people would, you know, people have jumped out of windows and, and, and committed suicide for the simple fact of just losing a business. Well, you have to remember, not only did I lose a business and a lifestyle and all my possessions, I almost lost my life through a heart attack. I lost my marriage. So many things fell apart and everything happened at one time. And what I'm here to tell you today is whatever you're going through, your situation right now is not your final destination. It is not where you're going to stay for the rest of your life. As long as you keep moving forward in your life, as long as you keep putting God first, as long as you keep pressing forward, eventually something is going to happen for you. Something is going to take place for you. You know, <clears throat> God has a funny way of getting our attention, you know, but when I was going through this whole situation, you know, I felt, and, and, and I want you to understand that if you're going through something right now, believe me, I know your pain. I feel your pain, whether it's through a divorce or a lost relationship, a death of a loved one, a loss of income, whatever it is, I've experienced all of those things 
like at one time. <clears throat> Most people would have been dead, you know, but God had a reason for me to live. He had a, a reason and a purpose for me, just like he has a reason and a purpose for you. You know, you're not here by accident. You're not here by mistake. You're not here by happenstance. You're not watching this video right now uh, by mistake. You were brought here for some reason. You saw something in the heading. Someone shared it with you. And by the way, I encourage you to share it. But you're here on purpose. And I'm here to tell you, li listen, my love for mankind is to encourage people, to let people know that it, this is not the end of your story. This is not the end of the road. That you have greatness in you. That greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That if you put God first, and if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of these things will be added to you. You know, things aren't always going to be roses, guys. Things aren't always going to work out exactly how you plan. But the fact is that if you trust God, if you have faith in God, eventually things are going to come to fruition for you if you continue to walk with him. It's so many people have turned their backs and they say they give up. One little thing happens and they're questioning God. Why me? Or, you know, or a couple things happen in their lives or they look at, you know, throughout their life of situations that occurred and they're blaming God. Sometimes we have to take responsibility, folks, for, for the things. I have taken full responsibility. <clears throat> My voice is a little funny today because I got a little bit of a cold. But I have taken full responsibility of my situation. I understand today, you know, eight, ten years later, why the things happened the way they did. And God spared my life. He was, he, he was, he gave me another, another opportunity, another opportunity to do it right, another opportunity to help others, to bring others to Christ, to let people know that, you know, like the Bible says, He overcame with the power of His testimony. That my testimony, just like your testimony, whatever brought you to God, to Christ. Is powerful and you need to let people know about it so many people are shy or timid to talk about their story listen don't be ashamed don't I'm not ashamed I'm not ashamed to, to say I had a heart attack you know and I'm healthy today <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to say that I lost my marriage and I, I divorced I'm not ashamed to say that I lost my business I'm not ashamed of any of that because listen at the end of the day it all has made me a better person a better person, a better individual, a better man. And I'm proud of that. And for that, I give praise and thanks and honor to the Most High God. That's why I do what I do. That's why I encourage people. That's why I want people to know the love of Christ. It's the love of Christ that, that you know, brought him here to die on the cross for our sins, even for those that don't believe in him. You know, even even for, he came for everybody. Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to be saved. What I'm saying to you is that everyone has an opportunity. You have a choice every day when you wake up. It's sunny today right now. Yes. Some people are waking up right now and saying, my life is horrible. My life is miserable. Poor me. Listen, take responsibility for your life. Take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for your faith. The Bible says that you only have to have faith the size of a mustard seed. That is it. Start with that. If you open up your eyes in the morning, give praise and honor and thanks to God. Because let me tell you, some people woke up, didn't wake up this morning. <clears throat> some people are never going to wake up again. They died in their sleep. But you, my friend, are chosen. You, my friend, are chosen to continue to live another day. You, my friend, are chosen to continue to worship God. Let people know the goodness of God. This is our opportunity. Tomorrow is not promised. Today is the day of salvation. You have to make Christ the Lord of your life. You know, <clears throat> no matter what you've done, no matter what you've done in your life, there's nothing that you could have done that will separate you from the love of God if you're willing to repent, if you're willing to go to him, if you're willing to, sac to sacrifice and say, Lord, you know what? I screwed up. I messed up. This is what I did and lay it on the table for him. You know, even though he already knows, he wants you to talk about it. It's therapeutic when you talk about the things. And when I look back at my life and, and what I experienced, excuse me, I realized, looking at everything, I started to realize all the stupid things I did, my contribution to the downfall of my marriage, my contribution to the downfall of my, uh, my business, my contribution to the downfall of my salvation, my contribution to me having a heart attack. 
I sell all of those. I see all those things today. They made me a better person. That's why I say, listen, the Bible says when you go through trials and tribulations, count it all joy. Because he's teaching you something about yourself. Don't run away from it like a lot of people do. Don't, you know, don't stick your head in the sand. Take responsibility and say, yes, I messed up. This is what I did. You know, li listen, I don't know how much more real I can be with people to let them know. It's don't be ashamed of what happened in your life. You know, if, if whatever it is, be honest about it. Talk about it. And what did you learn from it? You know what? A lot of people say, well, God is silent. Sometimes God is silent. Sometimes the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. Sometimes you just have to be still. You got to know when to be still. You got to know when to take action. And listen, that's between you and God. I can't give you the, 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 the only tool I can give you is prayer. The only tool that I can provide you is speaking to God through prayer and reading his word. That's the only thing I can tell you. I can't tell you when it's the right time to be still, when it's the right time to move. I don't know. But that's between you and God. The thing is, is we have an obligation, folks. We have an obligation to do the right thing, to do what is right. We have an obligation to let people know about our testimony, to tell people about our testimony and let others know that, you know what? Despite what happened in my life, God loved me so much, so much that he spared my life to give me another day of life, to continue to seek his face, to continue to let others know about the power and the glory and the love of God. That's my message for you today, that wherever you are, God bless you. Um, share this message, guys. I'm not able to share. I'm banned from sharing. I don't know why, but perhaps you can share on this side of the video. If you press on the button, you can share it, guys. God bless you. And know that God has a reason and a purpose for your life, that you are not here by accident. And whatever you're going through right now or, or, or currently or whatever, know that, listen, it's a storm. You'll get through the other side of it. You're going to learn more about yourself. You're going to become a stronger person. You're going to become, you're going to grow in your faith. These are the things that are important, of course, in addition to having salvation guys i love you all god bless you please share the video if we're not friends send me a friend request if my video has touched you in a way inbox me i'd love to talk to you even pray for you god bless you guys and um i'm about to go drive